At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson, and we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It's Southampton taking on Liverpool. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. A match that should be chock full of talking points. Liverpool get it going. And here's how the lineup looks for Southampton. Alex McCarthy is the goalkeeper. James Ward Prowse starts with Oriol Romeo in the centre of midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Joel Matip in central defence. Mohamed Salah plays with Sadio Mane out wide. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition aware of the threat solving the problem Henderson firing it towards goal Walker Peters and what can they do to stop him running at them Decent position, great defending here. Alas, he's made his move too early, offside. Alexander-Arnold. Matip. It's with Fabinho. Andrew Robertson. Another a decent position for Liverpool to be in. And the body in the way. Great challenge. He got nothing but ball. Salah. And Thiago. And Mohamed Salah now. Teammate in support. Henderson. Jota and a poor ball Armstrong can they get in behind them can they keep passing away well they couldn't keep that sequence going unfortunately in behind for him to chase Robertson, here's Salah, Fabinho, moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment, Alexander-Arnold, here's Fabinho, this looks interesting, terrific block, is it going to end up being productive for them? Walker Peters, Romeo, Ward Prowse. Oh, yes! First to score in this final, and it could be highly significant. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Well, the action continues. Is there to be a response from Liverpool now? There needs to be. Fabinho Alexander-Arnold 
Well, as the stats confirm, Liverpool had the lion's share of the ball, but it means nothing. Oh, Stuart, they could be in here. Mane. Henderson has it. Salah. Henderson. Jota, superb block. Henderson. Oh, maybe the equaliser. It's opened up for him. Oh, the equaliser. Just what they needed. And the dream remains very much alive. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. comes to an end As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Mane. Jota. Still looking to get the shot off. Magnificent defending. Counter-attacking very much an option. Promising sequence. He read the situation defensively and did his job. They all know their roles as they apply the pressure. Redmond. That's not a bad ball. Well, in fact, a bit too close to the goalkeeper. And that was always going to be claimed. Fabinho Henderson has it still on level terms moving the ball nicely foiling them effectively now what can they produce on the flank crossing possibilities Jay Adams Oriol Romeu Oh, moving it nicely. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. This might be ideal for the counter. Can they take advantage? Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Stuart Armstrong. An effective challenge. And slipped through beautifully. Good looking ball. Tremendous book. Defensive efficiency personified. 
Well, as the stats confirm, Liverpool had the lion's share of the ball, but it's been a frustrating performance from them so far. They just haven't had enough guile in the final third. It's all been a bit too predictable, which has to change if they want to win this one. Dangerous looking through ball. Well, as the replay shows, it all started with that perfectly weighted ball over the top of the back line. And then what a strike. That's it with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end. And that might well be the decider. Fabinho Alexander Arnold Milner Here's Fabinho Well timed tackle Might be a chance here Can he convert? Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, but should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Diogo Jota. On and on he goes. Could cross it in here. Making sure nothing untoward happened. And breaking at pace with Menace. Using his strength to shield the ball. Now a decent position. Went in strongly to win the ball. Mane. Interception to snuff out the danger. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Four marks to the entire team. And now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy.